hide um, hide it when your geometry is uh, when your cylinders are bending and moving so uh, for this instance roughly 17 should work okay and let's see here I am going to take that sphere I'm going to drop it as a child I don't think it matters I can drop it in as a child of the joint and that will be fine I'm going to zero out my PSR and then I'm going to copy it and let it be a uh, hold control make it a child of the second joint and I'm going to zero out the PSR and you see it slides down and I'm gonna do this again I need another joint on the end I'm going to hold control drag that out to the end here so now uh, I need to reset this piece PSR and basically I've got my geometry set up and this is what the arm looks like so far and I think that that is going to be fine now I can grab my goal and I can kind of test this at this point whoops uh, the reason why I did that is I have my anchor point movement tool still selected I don't want that and you can see here that because my geometry is all a child of the joints that it's moving around according to the joint now what I want to do is kind of test this here and I want to just bend it a little bit and then render it and just look here it doesn't look like the edges of the cylinder are poking out at all so I'm gonna grab here PSR reset and we're almost done with this now this sphere that I have on the end I am going to uh, model the piece that comes out of that so I'm gonna make a cube and I'm gonna shrink the dimensions down quite a bit and I need this cube to be narrower than my uh, sphere Let's drag it out. I'm going to drag it out so that my anchor point is pretty much right in the center of that sphere. And I do need it taller. So what I want is I'm going to use this to... Uh, this is going to be the piece that's holding the pad on the end of the claw. So that's looking pretty good. I'm going to make it editable here in just a moment. Now, as of right now, it is a child of the sphere. I'm sorry. No, it's not. Not yet. Um, I want to make it a child of the sphere. And that way it will follow where that goes. All right. That's looking good. I am going to make it edible. Press C on my keyboard. I want to go into polygon mode. And I'm going to grab this polygon right here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to slide it this way. <clears throat> uh, the Fong tag's getting a little, a little wonky there. Um, I don't think that it's really going to matter. Um, if you do find that it matters for you, you can always play with this here. and change the uh, change the fong angle and there we are uh, the beginnings of our arm now I am noticing here I'm seeing the rotational sections of my cylinders so if uh, you know if you want to crank yours up go ahead I used 16 rotational segments uh, use what you want on that to make it cleaner um, I'm gonna stick with 16 for now okay so I need to bring out another cube and we're gonna use this cube to make the pad that goes on the end of the robot arm here now I need to use my model mode here 
So I'll click on that button. That will allow me to move my cube down. And this needs to be quite a bit smaller. So I'll just kind of start to resize that. I'm going to move it roughly into position here. And then I'm going to get a different angle on it to finish up. So I want it to be just barely bigger. Now, this doesn't really matter. Um, you could put whatever you want on the end of this. Um, so my size doesn't, doesn't really matter here. But I'm just going for the shape pretty much like this. And I will go for a little bit longer. And let's move this up so that the geometry is inside of each other. OK. Now later on, we will be putting um, some dynamic tags on some of <clears throat> on some of this stuff so that you can actually use it to pick up things um, right now we're not going to do that uh, that'll be something we do later and uh, I'll actually have to look I played with the, the with the uh, dynamic tags I think I ended up putting it on my cloner and telling it to inherit to the uh, objects below it so inherit to children so that is pretty much our uh, our first claw item. I'm going to take this one and make it a child of the other cube. Now at this point it's not editable. I could probably make it editable now. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But let's push that back. And I want to select my thing here. We can just kind of test things out. And you'll notice um, the way that that pad is moving. Um, I didn't like the way this did this in the original model and so I used a constraint tag to uh, fix that a little bit. So I'm going to reset that and um, I only started using constraint tags recently and I'm still kind of wrapping my brain around them but I do know that this is the object that I want to stay pointing on the z-axis um, and it's a child of these so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the constraint tag on this sphere and I want my sphere to be able to rotate around the x-axis um, while pointing in the Z axis. So I'm going to do a similar thing here that we did with the hydraulics because uh, that's the type of rotation that I really want for this. So I'm going to grab my sphere, go to tags, character tags, constraint, and first I'm going to create my aim. And I'm not going to add my up vector yet, but I will do that in a little bit. So on my aim, I want to choose the axis as x plus and don't worry about it flipping upside down right now um, actually let's, let's see let's see let's see let's try x minus no nope. okay so I'm not gonna worry about it flipping upside down for right now oh wait I'm gonna back up um, something I need I need a null object to aim at for my target. So uh, let's see. I need a null object, and I need to drop it above the in the same hierarchy, but above where my constraint tag is. So I'm going to drop it there, <clears throat> and I'm going to call this constraint aim and that is where my constraint tag is going to target so I'll drag that down here and this needs to be on my X plus and we are totally out of whack and let me see if I can figure out why that happened maybe because of the hierarchy here so I'm gonna just commit